Black Rhino Range Expansion Project was started because there was a concern that our Black Rhino population's growth rates was declining. But the key to the whole project was creating these partnerships between the conservation organization providing Rhino and the landowners. Now, for the first time, we're going across border to Eliwande National Park, run by African Parks. The preparation that's been going on behind the scene to enable the translocation, that's a huge undertaking in itself to be able to make sure that the park is secure, that where these animals are going to, that they're not going to be poached, that they are going to a safe home where they're going to be allowed to breed up, and everything that goes into that. So from the law enforcement, the relationship with the communities, the infrastructure, uh, the management team that's in place, and all of that has happened to enable this. We're currently using an airlift technique to catch the rhinos here, because rhinos don't always live where you want them to. So airlifting them has just revolutionized the capture methods. Once the animal is darted and sleeping, we bring a Huey helicopter to airlift them out of that area. And it is very efficient. It's very quick for the rhino. I'm quite confident this is actually the kindest way we have of moving a rhino from A to B. From this reserve where we catch them, they get loaded into a crate. And that crate is transported to the Bomas in Nymphalozi, where they are held in quarantine because we're going to a foreign country. From the Bomas, they will be loaded into crates again and driven to Durban Airport, from which they will be flown to Malawi. I think we're on the right track, but it relies on partnerships like the one we're entering into with an organization like African Parks. Without them, we would be battling because there's not much land available for black rhino. Black rhino need large chunks of land that can be protected. This is a symbol for conservation in Africa of what is possible if there's the right commitment to management, the right resourcing in terms of being able to fund operations like this and the right commitment from a government partner. Only then is something like this possible to happen. And I think that uh, uh, all of this represents yeah, a, a beacon for hope. This is a wonderful operation. The number of people now will be facing their own national pride now is going to increase both locally but mostly internationally. Malay government and its partners, for example, African Parks and other partners, we have robust programs targeting communities, but at the same time, we are also focusing very much on conservation of the natural resources. Let's build up our natural resources, wildlife, as we enhance the livelihoods in the community. It's a win-win situation for both countries and uh, it would be good for black rhinos.